नमस्ते दिस इज जेवीएन डॉक्टर विशाल सक्सेना प्रोफेसर इन मैथमेटिक्स सेव इन फैकल्टी ऑफ एजुकेशन एंड मैथोलॉजी ज्योति विद्यापीठ वुमेंस यूनिवर्सिटी जयपुर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन द मॉड्यूल एंड दिस मॉड्यूल इज न्यूटन ऑप्शन मेथड सो दिस मॉड्यूल न्यूटन ऑप्शन मेथड इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द कोर्स कॉम्प्लेक्स एंड न्यूमेरिकल एनालिसिस and under the program of uh, uh, bsc bed 8 semester so this newton ropson method is uh, a numerical method uh, and uh, this method is uh, a good method and can be considered as a uh, good convergent method uh, to solve uh, the equations uh, algebraic equations uh, as well as uh, the transcendental equations the algebraic equations of like uh, degree 2 degree 3 uh, degree 4 and more degree equations uh, and uh, transcendental equation means uh, the algebraic equations uh, which consist of uh, the other kind of uh, functions uh. so newton ropson method is applicable is uh, applicable to solve such kind of equations uh, and uh, this method is uh, uh, just uh, solve Uh, can be used to get the solution with accuracy for these equations so uh, first we have to understand uh, what is newton ropson method <coughs> and uh, then with example uh, we will understand what is uh, newton ropson method and how it is applied for the equation so uh, just in numerical analysis uh, the newton's method or the newton ropson method uh, named after the isaac newton and joseph ropson so these uh, two uh, mathematicians have given this uh, method uh, newton ropson method uh, one is isaac newton and second was uh, joseph ropson and uh, this method is an algorithm of root finding which gives a sequentially better approximation to the roots of the real valued function so this method is uh, like uh, the better approximation method and uh, it can be applicable for the real valued function so the most basic version starts uh, with a single variable function f uh, defined for a variable x the functions derivative f dash and the initial assumptions x not uh, for a root uh, of f so uh, just uh, suppose here the our initial equation b uh, fx equal to 0 and uh, just it means uh, our real value function is f uh, and the equation is fx equal to 0 and uh, because it is a numerical method uh, so this method is an approximation method and uh, therefore we have to initially take uh, assume uh, some approximation to the root and therefore uh, x not can be taken as a initial value or initial assumption to the root uh, and just uh, which uh, uh, by the method uh, applying the method uh, which would become so uh, a uh, better and more better value for the root so now that uh, if x1 equal to x0 plus h be the exact root where h is a uh, very small then fx1 equal to 0 so initial approximation was assumed as uh, x0 uh, and now the uh, first approximation means x1 can be taken as x0 plus h uh, and uh, where h must be taken uh, as a very small quantity is a very small positive value so therefore because it is uh, uh, just considered as a root uh, and the latest root or the exact root uh, therefore definitely fx1 will be equal to 0 uh, just means uh, the equation fx will be satisfied by x1 and therefore fx1 equal to 0 and then this implies fx not plus h equal to 0 now next uh, what we have to do Uh, actually just we are going to make uh, the formula for this newton ropson method uh, and therefore uh, when we have the term fx not plus h equal to 0 then this term can be expanded by the taylor theorem taylor series we can expand it here so by taylor theorem and neglecting the higher terms of uh, h raised to the power 2 so just uh, neglecting the uh, more higher terms of h square and uh, the other higher terms so uh, so ultimately by the taylor's expansion series uh, we will get fx not uh, plus h into f dash uh, x not equal to 0 this is by the taylor's theorem 
and uh, after solving this we will get the value of h uh, and that it becomes a minus f x not upon f dash x not therefore f dash x not is not equal to and uh, where the condition is uh, f dash x not equal is not equal to zero because l as already we know that here in the denominator term uh, that cannot be equal to zero because ultimately if it becomes zero then the term would not be defined therefore the closer approximation to the root is given by x1 equal to x0 plus h and now we are putting the value of h just we have derived in the above and therefore x1 is given by x0 minus fx0 upon f dash x0 this is the value of x1 and uh, uh, similarly this formula can be extended uh, in a similar way just this is the approximation for the first uh, 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 first uh, improved uh, value of root uh, that is called x1 and this is coming here my x0 minus fx0 upon f dash x0 but uh, when this uh, approximation is uh, applied further in the similar way then we will get uh, the n plus 1x value to the root uh, and uh, this n plus 1x approximation will give the root value is xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus fxn minus upon f dash xn. So this is uh, the finally formula we have obtained here uh, in this newton Raphson method and this is given by xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus fxn upon f dash xn. So just uh, we have seen here the derivation of this uh, method and uh, newton Raphson method is uh, a very good uh, approximation method for such kind of equations, uh, algebraic as well as the transcendental equations. Now look at here, it's a geometrical interpretation. In the geometrical interpretation, first uh, we have to understand uh, this graph uh, and uh, on this graph uh, we are taking a point uh, that this point is here, point Xn. So just uh, we draw a tangent line to the graph fx. Uh, this is fx is the name of the graph uh, and uh, we are drawing a tangent line uh, to this graph uh, of fx uh, at the point x equal to xn. So just we are making a tangent line and now we have to see this one and this line uh, has the slope uh, f dash xn. Suppose this line at this point uh, is having the slope uh, f dash xn and it goes to the point uh, xn comma fxn. So just uh, as we can see on the graph, uh, this line, this tangent is passing to the point uh, xn comma fxn. And therefore, it has the equation. Uh, now we can make the equation of this line, this tangent line, uh, and the equation of this line can be given by y is equal to f dash xn into x minus xn and plus fxn. <coughs> so this line equation, so line's equation is given by y is equal to f dash xn, where f dash xn uh, means here the slope of that line into x minus xn and plus uh, fxn. Uh, I think uh, uh, you can understand here what uh, this line is, uh, how this line is made, uh, how this equation is made. Uh, this is the general method of the constructing a lines equation and uh, that is the same line like uh, y2 minus y1 is equal to m into x2 minus x1. Now we find the root of this uh, tangent line by setting y is equal to 0. Uh, just uh, uh, here, this line uh, uh, will give here the root uh, and uh, find the root of this tangent line by setting y equal to 0. As already we know that uh, the root of the equation fx equal to 0 means the root of the equation y equal to 0 can be obtained by uh, just uh, setting y equal to 0 means we are taking, we are assuming y equal to 0 uh, and uh, for this here we are taking the point x equal to xn plus 1. For our new approximation, and uh, solving this equation gives uh, the new approximation which is given by xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus uh, fxn upon f dash xn. In this way, uh, just uh, this uh, 
tangent equation is made there and this is the root uh, this is the new approximation for the root uh, and uh, this formula is uh, the formula for the n plus 1th approximation to the root uh, in this newton raphson method now we take one example uh, to clear this uh, uh, just how we can solve a question with the help of uh, this formula this newton raphson method so look at this equation uh, in this example what uh, is given us uh, uh, we are given uh, give, we are given that an equation and uh, this equation is uh, you can see it is an algebraic equation x raised to the power 4 minus 12x plus 7 is equal to 0 and the question is here uh, just we have to find the root uh, by newton raphson method and the root should be equal should be near to 2 actually already we know that in mathematics uh, what happens uh, Uh, because it is a fourth order equation so uh, this equation should have the four uh, roots there uh, and therefore uh, the different roots can be obtained uh, but the question is here uh, we have to find the root uh, which is near to 2 so it means uh, to apply this uh, newton raphson method uh, just we assume that uh, the initial approximation to the root as x not uh, And x not is taken as the two value two there because we have to find the root uh, which is near to two. So x not is assumed here as two by Newton Raphson formula. This is the Newton Raphson formula, and uh, this formula is applicable for the different values of n like uh, n equal to zero, one, two, three, four, and so on. So uh, next uh, uh, first approximation. So how can we apply the Uh, this uh, how we can the get the first approximation in this formula we have to put n equal to zero and this uh, is called the first approximation because we are getting there we will get there uh, the value of uh, root as x one so we are putting n equal to zero in this equation and uh, look at this equation number one is mentioned and we are putting n equal to zero so x one is equal to x not minus f x not upon f dash x not And uh, now we are putting the values uh, there. It is two minus uh, uh, just why it is two. X not is taken as two, so put the value of f x not there. Uh, two minus it is f x not. F x not means our equation, our function. And uh, this function is x to the power four minus twelve x plus seven. And uh, just put here the value for x as two. It is two to the power four. Minus twelve into two plus seven divided by f dash x n, so means f dash x not. So first we have to find the derivative of f x, which is coming there four x cube minus twelve, and uh, now put here x not as two there in this f dash x. So this becomes four into two raised to the power three minus twelve, and uh, finally on solving this term, we will get uh, the value of x one as two point zero five. so this is the first approximation value x1 equal to 2.05 and now we have to take uh, the second approximation for the second approximation we have to put here n equal to 1 in this equation number 1 so in equation number 1 uh, just uh, when n equal to 0 we have put uh, then we will get uh, we have got there an x1 as first approximation Now second approximation we have to put n equal to one and then x uh, one. It is here x two there, so x two will be equal to there. <coughs> uh, wrongly it is given there x. It should be there x two. So x two will be there x not minus f x. Uh, this is here. Uh, this should be there x two equal to x one minus f x one upon f dash x one. Okay. So x two is equal to x one minus f x one upon f dash x one, and we have put here n equal to one in this equation number one. So uh, x one is there two point zero five. So therefore we have to find x two. X two will be equal to x one. X one is two point zero five minus f x one means uh, x one is two point zero five. So put here in this uh, function f x uh, as x one equal to 
so we will get there <clears throat> 2.05 to the power 4 minus 12 into 2.05 plus 7 and uh, divided by 4 f dash x n means f dash x1 and this is coming 4 into 2.05 uh, raised to the power 3 and minus 12 and therefore we will just get uh, as its value and uh, this will become 2.04 seven to eight. So in the sec second approximation, we are getting the value of root as x2 and it becomes 2.04728. So uh, now here we can apply the further third or the fourth approximation and uh, these approximations should be applied uh, till the last two the last two approximation values uh, will become almost same. So look at the first approximation value. It is 2.05 and the second approximation value, it is 2.04728. So these two values are quite uh, just uh, similar to each other and just very, very close to each other. So therefore, uh, we are not extending our uh, method uh, for the third approximation. And uh, therefore, till the second step, uh, till the second uh, approximation, what is our root? Uh, so our root is given by x equal to 2.04728. 2.04728. And this is the second approximation value. So, this is uh, the Newton Raphson method. And the Newton Raphson method is a very good method to uh, get the solution for such kind of equations, uh, algebraic equation, and uh, as well as the uh, transcendental equations. Other methods are also there. So, uh, this is the Newton Raphson method. And uh, with this, I'm concluding my today's lecture. Thank you.